everyone, I'm Vladimir. Welcome to GeoNodes Daily Series, where we do something cool in geometry nodes in five minutes or less. Today, from this animation, we will tackle the wiggle part. And uh, the wiggle, it's uh, an animation that is not uh, random. It has a predictable pattern. So if you think of uh, endless motion, you think of a circle. So if you think of a circle, you think of sine and cosine. So that will be our base. So ready, go, let's start. First thing first, let's add a mesh primitive UV sphere connected to the output. Excellent, let's make it a lot smaller. So now let's add attribute fill, put it here. Let's shade it smooth, put this value to one. Excellent. Now let's add a utility. Let's add a not an utilities. Let's add a vector, combine X, Y, Z. Why? Because we are going to go to geometry, transform, plug he this here. This will be the control of our transformation. Excellent. Now, let's add the frame into the equation. So, input, value, hashtag frame. So, hashtag frame. Now we have the frame. Okay, we need N. Utilities, math. Let's switch it to sign. Okay, excellent. Let's connect this sign here and we connect this to Z. Switch this to front so we can see the motion. It's too much. It's really too much. So we need another math node. Let's plug it here. Let's switch it to divide. Let's divide it by some value. So now the motion is a lot less strong. So what do we want to do next? Well, we want to control this even further. So let's add an input, an input from utilities, a map range node. Let's plug this one. If we talk about sun, we talk about minus one to one and we want to control the output. So now we can control this from here. Excellent. How do you want to control this? So let's add another value node. Let's put something like uh, a very small value. So let's take another divide node. And this one, we'll switch it to multiply by minus one. And then we will take this value, put it here. This will be the lower limit and this will be the upper limit. So now we have a control for this wiggle. We have the control for the intensity and we have a control for speed. Excellent. This will be, we can delete this one. This will be our Z motion. How we are going to deal with the uh, X and Y motion? Well, let's duplicate everything. Excellent. Now that we have this here, let's plug this one here for the sign. Excellent. And the output, output to, for this, well, we don't need this one. We want to connect this. Let's remove this from here. We want to connect this to the Y. So now we have a jiggle on the Y. Excellent. Now let's take all of this, duplicate it again. Okay, if you get this, press home key so you get the nodes. Excellent. Now let's take the frame. Alt P, yep. Let's take the frame from here, plug it here. Let's switch this one to cosine. Excellent. Now let's plug this one to the X value. And now we have a wiggle motion on the, in the form of the circle on the X and the Y. And we want to connect these to be together. So let's control click here. We don't need this one. This will control the intensity on the X and Y. And we have a Z value to control the intensity here. Excellent, excellent. Let's see it. Good, now one thing to do left for us. Let's do a material, material assign. Plug it here, 
and we want to create a material so let's quickly open this one here a material and we plug this material here now everything it left it to do is shade it so that's it for today thank you very much for uh, watching make sure to check the twitter link i will post in this video to see a, a screenshot of uh, the cleanup material and uh, also stay tuned because i'm planning to make a pack with all these uh, tips and then there you will get a lot like the materials and the animation